What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dobrunsky here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through step by step how to set up a run counter in Diablo 2. I have been asked what run counter I use or how do I set one up literally at least a couple thousand times on my YouTube comment section or when I'm streaming live on Twitch. And today I'm going to just take you through step by step how to set up this run counter and then go over some of the really cool features. This is actually a brand new one that was created from Discord community member Oscros. So if you guys are doing the Holy Grail thing, you want to keep track of your runs in specific areas this is going to be an amazing tool for you guys to use so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and a quick reminder for those that don't know i stream twice a week on twitch link is of course in the description below so if you guys enjoy my youtube content maybe hit me up with a follow there i'd really appreciate it but guys hope you enjoy this video let's jump in Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to hit up the link that I have in the description below to download the MF run counter. So again, just click on that link and you're going to see it here, download the MF timer exe. And then you're going to want to put this not directly into your Diablo 2 installation, just something straight on your desktop is completely fine. Preferably, you want to put it into a folder. That is because when you activate this run counter, it's going to create multiple uh, additional files like your profiles and whatnot, which we'll get into in a second, but just minimizing it here. So this is my little folder here, D2 counter. And within it, I have the timer, a config file, a MF timer text document here, and then the profiles folder. This is where it keeps all of your individual uh, profiles, depending on like if you want to run like an Ancient Tunnels Windroid or Ancient Tunnels Blizzard Sorcerers, uh, Pendle Zerker, you can create individual unique profiles with this run counter. So it's very, very cool. And that is where these are all stored. So again, just make like a regular folder on your desktop and then put the exe in and then when you launch it it's going to create these other folders or files for you so just to show you here i've already launched it this is what it looks like now it might seem a little bit confusing it's actually not we're going to go through some of the features step by step so this is what my desktop looks like when i'm streaming diablo 2 i have my glide wrapper installation uh, expanded and then i have the run counter here off to the side now this might look a little bit complicated. We're gonna kind of whiz through some of these steps. There's really a lot to cover in this video. So if you guys have any further questions or issues, highly encourage you guys to join the Discord below. I got the link for my Discord as well as the creator of this MF run counter. So either one or you wanna join both, we can help you kind of troubleshoot through some of the issues. So first thing to look here, you have your total session time. This is how long it's been open. This is your individual runtime counter. And then this is the total runs period that you've done on a profile. And this is the run count of each session. So every time you want to, or you're done playing D2, you can actually archive your particular session and then it'll add to the total run count and it'll start again at zero. So say you wanted to do a thousand ancient tunnel runs and you did 120 and then you want to reset it. So you know how many you do the next session. You just click archive. You want to archive and reset the session. Yes. So then this will represent your total number of runs that you've done period and then it starts again back at zero and then it will continue to count up and then you hit archive again and then it's going to take that value add it to this one in the parenthesis and then you'll start back at zero again for the next session now the drop tab this is really cool as you are playing you can actually add a drop so he has set hotkeys you can change it to whatever you want but it's alt and a it's going to bring up this little tab while you're playing and you can input a drop so let's just say Drop a wind force, which I did on stream. Double click wind force, add it, and then it'll say run zero. I did the drop. So, really, if you were using this like you're actually magic finding, so say run 50, alt A, you add wind force, you're good to go. And you can also minimize that if you don't want to use that at all. Then, what's really cool is you can actually sync that up to your Holy Grail app. I'll cover that later. And then this is your advanced stat tracker. So it will say the name, level, MF, and like experience, experience per session for your character. So let's just load up my Druid because this is the one that I have the profile set up for. So when you instantly launch it, it's going to show like experience. It, once you do a couple runs, it'll track this like your time to level and how many runs left to get next level, which in this case is 96. But it's a really cool uh, feature. I always have this open. So it just kind of gives me an idea like as I'm magic finding how much experience I've gained or as like the progress of leveling to the next level. So it's a really cool feature on its own actually in addition to the run counter. One last thing to touch on the timer here is that if you actually want to pause the timer, again, there's more of this in the hotkeys and stuff, which we'll get to in a second. But if you, there's an option 
to either manually turn or manually pause the run counter, or you can uh, turn on a feature when you bring up load menu that it's going to resume or it's going to pause the timer, excuse me. And then as soon as you close it again, it resumes and start counting. So it's a really cool feature for those that say you're doing like tons of pinnel running and you want to keep your run times as low as possible. If you want to take a break, you can always just pause the run counter so you don't have to worry about it actively running. But the second tab here is your options tab. So if you want to actually enable the run counter, you're going to want to hit advanced mode. It has a little warning here that this is really for single player. Odds are you're probably going to be okay if you run this on Battle.net, but just don't hold me responsible if you do get banned for running this. I mean, people bot all the time. Get away with it, so you might be fine. I just, just a heads up, I don't want to be responsible. But here is your options of... You can turn the to toggle these on or off, excuse me. So this is the pause on escape menu or stop when leaving. So I just have them both on. You can on or off however you want to do it. The next tab is your profile tab. Now this is really, really cool. So previous run counters would only count a specific uh, character file, like, like the exe or whatever the character file. It only count that. So say if you did 500 Blizzard Sorceress Ancient Tunnel runs and then you switch to Travancle runs, You'd have to just completely reset your counter or whatever. This one, you can set up individual profiles for different areas and different characters depending on where you're farming. So it's really, really cool. I have two set up here at the moment. I have an Ancient Tunnels Wind Druid and a Pits Wind Druid, but let's just say I wanted to create another one. Chaos. Hgen. You can enter whatever your Hammerton's name is. I actually don't even remember what it is. You can select the area. So just go down here, Act 4, Chaos Sanctuary, Single Player Mode, Submit, and then boom, you have different individual profiles based on different characters, but we're just going to stick to Ancient Tunnels Wind Druid for now. And this is, you can check out your profile history. Uh, you can check out the Active Session. So Active Session doesn't really have anything because I'm just showing off the runtime counter here, but if I go to my uh, profile history, I can see some of the runs from the previous, like from today's stream. The next tab to take a look at here is the Grail tab. Now this is really cool. There is so many amazing features that are built into this. Honestly, I'm just surprised that this is included in an MF run counter. It is just such a powerful tool. So the first one is that you can sync this to your Hero Grail app. Now I've covered this in a previous video. Link is of course in the description below if you want to check it out. It's an amazing free to use tracking uh, site to just keep track of individual uniques and sets and rune words for your rumor Grail. Wrath Grail and your regular Diablo 2 Holy Grail progression. So you can add specific drops like I covered earlier and you can upload to this Hero Grail app like it syncs. So you just type in your username, your password, and then whatever drops that you add in the drop tab here, like we did Alt A, enter your win force, click OK, do your login thing, and it's going to automatically sync what dropped to your Holy Grail. So it's just an insane powerful tool. I cannot believe that that was included in this. Next up, just let me minimize D2 here. We have an item table. Let me just move the MF run counter off. This is also just amazing. Like there is just so many things that you can do with this. Uh, searching specific items or what can drop off of uh, Andariel, Mephisto, or Piddleskin, or Diablo, etc. The rule chance. So just going over like two options here. We can just go to Endarial, click false, and it's going to list every single item that cannot drop off of Endarial. So you could do this as well with, say, Mephisto, because I can't tell you how many times I've been asked, can Mephisto drop this? We'll just go to this table, Mephisto, false, boom. Everything that he cannot drop is going to show. And then the same table works for Diablo, Pindleskin, etc. Now you can get a little bit more creative. Let's just say we want to search a specific item. Let's pick a base item. So base item, amulet, quality, excuse me, rarity, go unique. And then it's going to list off all of the unique amulets and then their specific rule chance and whether or not they can or cannot drop off of Endarial. So we know that every unique amulet can drop except for Metal Grid and Mara's. So here we have Mara's Kaleidoscope and Metal Grid. It shows that they're false. They cannot drop off of Endarial. Now this is calculated, I guess, if the percentage of if it could drop off of Endarial. Obviously it can't, but we can see that there's like a 26% chance to drop Nokazan Relic, 4% uh, for Seraph's Hymn, 
6.7% uh, for Crescent Moon, etc. And then we can see that Mephisto can drop all the amulets, Diablo can drop all the amulets, and so can Middleskin. It's just ridiculously powerful tool. Like, I cannot believe that anything that you want to search, like any, like, it doesn't even have to be amulets. Like, it doesn't have to be jewelry. So it can be uh, Cadiceus. Quality or rarity, unique. So it's going to go Dario can't drop it, Mephisto can't, Diablo can't, but Pindaskin can. There's just so many specific items that you can hunt for, and then it goes over like the drop percentage chance and everything. It's just a ridiculously powerful tool, and I cannot believe it was included in this mod. I know I've said that like three times now, but I'm going to keep saying it. And then the last feature here is just the Grail controller. So you click on this. This is basically a miniature version of the Holy Grail app. It's just like a way of seeing what you have and what you don't have without having to pull up the website when you're playing. So you just pull it up and you can gray form, blink bats, whatever. I don't know what it's going to look like when your grail is completely filled out, but you can just continually add things and they're separated here. Unique armor, unique weapons, unique, unique other. So amulets, uh, class specifics, tor torches and facets, sets, and then runes. So just really really cool little kind of mini grail app that's just built in and the final tab here to cover is just the about tab so this is just the link to download it um the creator and then his discord so again if you guys want to hit, hit him up i'm sure that he would be able to help you out with any potential issues that you'll have because this is just an entirely fan made project so somebody that just loves diablo 2 and spent over a year making this amazing run counter uh but yeah that's pretty much in a nutshell all of the different tabs and stuff so i think now i'll just do i guess one or two mf runs and i'll show you guys how the run counter actually works so i'm just going to restart and then load another game so you can see it's went to 139 and 2. so this is the hurricane ancient tunnels wind Druid character that i was playing with and that's how I got the original 139 uh, Magic Find runs tallied. So I'm just going to quickly do... Not even really going to worry about it. So just pretend that we killed everything at the chest. Save and exit. And it's going to keep track. My first run was 11 minutes when I was talking over and explaining the video. Run 2, 36 seconds. Load up the next game, 3, 140, and it's just going to continually uh, activate or recount each session. So just one more example. The fastest ancient tunnel run you'll ever see. Back open the chest, nothing, save and exit. And it's going to update for us. Run three out of 140. Now, let's just say we did another 35, 40 runs. Again, just showing the archive. Just hit archive session. Would you like to archive it? Yes. It's going to add up. So we still have like that one, that total of the 140, but then the run count goes to zero again. So as we continue to launch like a new character or do runs over and over again this will continually count up again just keeping track of our total runs period so say we're doing a thousand run project and then individual runs of each archive session one little thing that i forgot to cover here just right at the end of the video is i forgot to go over the hotkeys and then the general settings when i was going over options i just kind of jumped into auto mode and these two i just skipped over it so there's ui which uh you want to show buttons, show the drop section, or show advanced tracker, so you can turn these on or off. So if you're not the type of person that wants to use the drop section, just turn it off, or turn it on, etc. I personally don't really use the drop section, I just mostly use the advanced stats, again that's just me. But then auto mode, so again this is how you turn on the run counter. And these are your individual hotkeys, so if you want to start a new run, end a run, uh, delete the previous run, pause it, etc. I actually have this one set to no bind because when I was playing with my hotkeys 
and how I have them rebinded. I was constantly turning the run counter on and off, so that's just disabled for me. Here's your adding a drop, resetting a lap, uh, make uncollectible. I'm not actually sure what that does. And these are your general settings, so you can have it so that it's always showing on top. That's toggled on. Your switch keys, checking for a new version, uh, enable sound effects. That's off for me. You can automatically have this so when you add a new drop, it will automatically sync to the Holy Grail app. You need to turn that on so you won't actually have to manually click. Uh, where's the setting here? You won't have to manually click upload to Grail if that's enabled. And then you have your different themes here, which is just really cool. I mean, nobody likes light mode. Let's be honest. Dark mode is the way to go. And then you can add a start run delay here or an auto archive uh, hours session. I actually don't know what those two features do. I personally won't use them myself. But that wraps up uh, everything for today's video. I know it was kind of short. I tried to do my best to go over each individual feature. Again, if you have any questions, definitely hit up my Discord or Oscorse's Discord. We'll be able to help you troubleshoot any issues or just really get the installation set up. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, if you get throw a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, share it and even consider subscribing to my channel. I post new weekly content on YouTube uh, and I stream twice a week on Twitch. So a follow on Twitch and a sub on YouTube would be amazing. Uh, other than that, guys, if you've made it all the way to the end of the video, just leave in the comment section below uh, hashtag MF counter just as a big shout out to Oscros for the amount of work that he put in. Just hashtag MF counter because this is going to be the new run counter everybody is going to use in the Diablo 2 community, at least the single player community, as far as I can tell. But that's everything for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.